Well, hello everybody. Today is March 6th. Let me double check that I'm positive it's March. Yes, it is. I'm just having a brain day. Today is March 6th. Welcome to my channel. I'm Sabby. I am a disabled mother who lives in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. I have four children, two boys who are twins, and two girls. I live off of my disability and I rely on the food pantries to feed my children. Today's food pantry is from my local Native Friendship Center and oh my, we have been blessed beyond blessings. Um, God is looking after me and my children. I'm also expecting some babies. They're growing in my belly right now. I'm not going to get into the circumstances about that, but um, no one should be holding any judgment or negative comments. So with that, I am going to start my food pantry haul. I'm going to work with my right and go towards this end part that I'm showing right now. Um, also, if you're a subscriber of my channel, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you, hear from you. If you're someone new who's come and go or someone who's just subscribed or someone who just by chance came across my channel, please consider subscribing, liking, and leave comments. I really enjoy everything and I read everything and I comment back to everything. So let me start. And I'm just going to move way over here. So I received three one pound packs of lean ground beef and it's halal and just wait one minute i will be right back my uh daughter from the school is calling me okay sorry about that okay so i received three one pound packs of halal ground beef wonderful we love it um there's not fat that i have to drain off and stuff wonderful meat we received now this is a treat and my kids are going to be so so happy because this can be our Friday night movie treat night snack um, while we play games and watch movies and stuff every Friday night. That's what we do. Um, tortilla chips. And they're healthy, natural, organic, no salt. Um, perfect to make nachos. A pack of feminine hygiene products. Now, up here, this is what's absolutely stunning and amazing we have let me just move these over i should have did that stuff first okay so we have one huge bag and another huge bag they have potatoes yams onions carrots zucchini in it we have two bags of two tomatoes, two cucumbers, and the second one is hiding down here. Two huge bags of fruit with pears, apples, and oranges in it. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely a blessing. We actually were out of fresh produce, so this is going to go wonderful. Um... My neighbor, she was cleaning out her fridge and she found some peppers and stuff that they're not going to eat. So I'm going to be using those tonight and uh, our supper tonight for my food pantry, food challenge that's across Canada that I'm participating. It's called Love Food, Hate Waste. I received two bottles of water, another thing of hand sanitizer which is always wonderful two jars of peanut butter and i have to be careful because this is a maneuver okay so we received one can of mixed beans one can of cut green beans one can of disney pasta and sauce one can of mushrooms and sauce not done we're just getting to the beginning here <laughs> okay two cans of flaked chicken two cans of flaked ham another can of beans a can of chicken soup 
and a can of vegetable soup. Back here, a can of tomatoes, a can of pasta sauce, and some bullseye barbecue sauce. I made myself um, a sandwich. I took one of these flaked chicken. I actually had three of them. Added some barbecue sauce, and I made myself a wrap. It was good. Okay. Another can of cut green beans. Another can of pasta and sauce. Another uh, can of tomato soup. And a can of cream of celery soup. A container of margarine. Okay, so we're here. There's a can of pasta sauce. Two cans of beans and sauce. And another can of beans and sauce. Back here. We have two cans of classic chili in cans, a can of pasta sauce, and another can of Disney pasta in sauce. And we still have more. <laughs> this is like amazing. A can of potatoes, a can of mixed vegetables, another can of beans and sauce, a can of tomato soup, and another can of cream of celery soup. And the last here of the canned items, a can of potatoes, one, two, three cans of pasta and sauce. Isn't that just amazing? Um, humble, grateful, I just couldn't believe it. Like, they're looking after my family. God is looking after our family. Um, thank you, Ottawa Native Friendship Center. Here is a little pack of seaweed. My oldest daughter eats this. And, um, me and my youngest son, we can't have anything with seaweed or kelp or um, fish or tuna or anything like that or shellfish. Uh, my oldest daughter really is the only one who can so she eats that and my and when I speak about my son can't um that's my youngest of the of the twin boys okay so we received one two three four and I actually had five of these celebration mini cookies I ate one because I was hungry and I'm gonna say the babies were hungry not me I'll blame it on the babies, but um, I actually was craving a little, something with a little bit of chocolate. Okay, two boxes of cereal, Rice Krispies, and this cinnamon Chex. My kids love this. They absolutely love it. They love Rice Krispies, but they love the cinnamon Chex. And uh, they'll eat it just by itself. They said it tastes like cinnamon buns. That's how good they like it. Here, amazing. One, two, three, four bags of long grain rice. This is the 907 gram bags. And now as always, baking powder, flour, sugar, two packs of dry powdered skim milk, two packs, which actually if you put this together, See, I'll make one normal pack of 20 slices of cheese slices for grilled cheese sandwiches. Four boxes right there. One, two, three, four boxes of KD dinner. Right here is um, um, Nature Value. Um, let me turn it to, what is this? Oats and honey granola bars. We've got a box of these chocolate dipped chocolate gran chip granola bars. Um, I had two bags of milk, one pot coming home. That's okay, accidents happen. And then I've got this one. So I have the powdered milk, so I'll have enough milk to give me for a while. Two big packs of spaghetti, and these are the 900 gram ones. One 
two. Let me just do it this way. You know what's what here? Two dozen eggs and one, two, three loaves of bread. So thank you to my local Native Friendship Center for all of this fabulous, wonderful food. I'm just going to sit while I do my summary here. Um, I've been getting a lot of kicks. <sighs> the babies think my gallbladder is a trampoline and a great big squishy that they can just squish <coughs> the liquids out. So it's a challenge sometimes. It's a wonderful one. I won't give it up. Um, mental health wise, I'm doing better. I hope I sound more cheery and stuff. Um, it's been a long road. I know there's a long road yet to go. Um, physically, I'm okay. I had my doctor's appointment. Things went fine with it. Babies are again healthy. They're a little bit underweight, but they are healthy. I'm healthy. I've gained 30 pounds, which is ironic because I've been doing nothing but throwing up all the time. Um, for morning sickness, and I mean it's not morning, it's 24-7 sickness, but I'm grateful that they're healthy, and that's what matters at the end of the day. I can eat crackers, um, plain pasta, um, those honey oat granola bars I know I'll be able to eat, plain rice, yes. The banana bread I made, because it wasn't very sweet, went down. I can eat beans on plain toast, not butter toast. That's something else. I can eat um, chicken broth is something I drink. And a lot of you gave me a wonderful amount of suggestions to help me with my nausea and vomiting and everything else. And I have been doing them. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you just wonderful ideas and um i've been doing it small amounts of food at a time crackers with some tea um ginger tea ginger chews to chew on you name it i've been doing what all of you are saying i kind of follow everything i've written it out and what i'm doing is to make it for variety so i don't get tired of the same thing day in day out i mix it up and i have variety so thank you all. Um, also, if you live in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, you are um, in need of food. And I mean, not just need of food because you're on assistance or disability, but if you're paying bills like me, I pay my rent full price. Um, I pay my utilities, my insurance. After I pay everything, I don't have money for food. So if you're like me, you pay your rent or you pay your mortgage, then your utility bills are going increasingly up. And, you know, I pay my bills first and then the food I worry about. I'm more concerned about a roof over our heads. Because we don't have a roof over your head. It's just, I, I just can't risk it. I can't think of it. It's just mind blowing. So I make sure that is always number one priority. And then I deal with the food and the food thankfully to the food banks i'm able to utilize them and feed my children um, and if you are in that situation please don't hesitate to contact 211 or 311 go to your local food pantry ask them for resources in addition to them here in ottawa there are all kinds of food pantries some are only for local residents some are for everybody within the city limits so remember that if you are someone who's like me, also struggles for mental health, consider contacting the crisis center or again, 211-311 or mental health. Um, talk to them, get into counseling, talk to someone you know and trust. Um, I know it's not easy, trust me. Um, I'm not in your personal shoes, but I can relate. And I, for me, doing these videos is what helps me therapeutically. And it lets me just express myself and let people know I'm okay. And I'm, you know, I'm out there, don't forget me. And plus other people comment to me and I absolutely love it. 
because it helps me and I have a wonderful YouTube family. I'm grateful for each and every single one of you. I hope that um, your weather is holding up. It's a little drizzy today, but it's still beautiful. It's not minus 50. It's not a blizzard. So for me, it's a plus. Um, I always try to look at the glass half full, not half empty. So I hope you will try that if you're going through some some times that are struggling think of the little things you know that are happening that are positive so with that i'm going to say goodbye bless you all thank you for being here thank you for visiting my channel again today um i will be doing my supper i'm hoping to feel better that i can actually do a video the last few days i've just been putting uh, photos up but it's still it's there so you know what i'm doing to utilize our food sources and our food pantry so if I feel good yes I will be doing a video just let me rest for a couple hours before I do it thank you all bless you all have a wonderful day a evening and we'll see you shortly soon again bye bye